All right, let's uh, check out some work with Benny that's been happening over the past month. Uh, we're in the arena right now, and uh, after a week or so of working with him uh, with plastic bags and uh, flags and and uh, sticks and all kinds of stuff, uh, we went to the far end of the arena where he's away from his buddies and stuff like that, and he asked to sort of be alone with me. So here we're just practicing waving a flag around in a plastic bag kind of thing and uh, rubbing it on his head, around his ears, on his eyes, on his nose, and um, just being kind of quick about it. I get it underneath the no his nose once in a while and just see how he reacts, see if he stays calm and stays still, if he gets overly worried. Uh, before, uh, when we first started out, he did get pretty worried. He'd be running around or trying to get away. Um, every part of him sort of indicated that he was very nervous, but he's come a long ways, still got a little bit more to go, but he's doing very, very well. So as you can see, he sort of just stands for it. His ears are paying attention to what's going on, but he's not, um, you know, losing himself over this. So now we're done all that. <clears throat> we stand there for a minute and just see how he does. And then we just walk off. Uh, here, we got a little bit of video of uh, him responding to my leg. And uh, we got off to a little bit of a bumpy start. He sometimes trots almost like a pace. It's an uneven trot. His legs seem to move a little off. So sometimes it takes a couple of tries to get him warmed up to that. Um, but that's a good first try there. Here we have another try. And I think I'd mentioned before, he actually goes up the rail a lot better than he does go up the middle of the arena. Here he almost made it into a canter, but he stayed at a trot. Um, it was a good go though. He's very, very light. It doesn't take much to get him to go. And he steers very well. Um, I keep my hands a little bit wide in the beginning for horses that may not be used to direction, um, but it wouldn't be long before I'd have my hands much uh, much closer together, maybe even one-handing, and um, steering him that way. But he did a very good trot this day. So, that's that. And Benny stops very well too, actually. It doesn't take much to just ask him to stop. Uh, here we have a clip. Um, I had taken him down this path uh, once already and then managed to get the camera out. Uh, the first time he was kind of nervous, even though we were still just on the property. He's looking at things and it's new sounds and he steps on twigs. And and uh, each thing kind of makes a noise that he doesn't seem to be used to. Um, but we sort of just continue on and keep going. And uh, down to the... Uh, the end of the arena, essentially, just in the uh, the dirt area, the pathway, the trails that we sort of have been building and putting together. Uh, so we end up making it to the end of here, and I ask him to stop and uh, stop and stay, sort of calm down, just stand there and not be agitated, not be worried. Um, at this this point right here, I'm practicing having him turn in one spot. There's going to be times you'll be on a trail and there's not a lot of space and you might need to turn around. I'm asking him to back up here. One of his go-to moves is to sort of shake his head around and move it around to not uh, have to do what I'm asking, but he did do it just fine. So here we are just trying to head back up the trail and of course everywhere we go and you'll see further in other videos coming up that Benny just takes bites of everything as he goes. <laughs> Um, he's a really good boy. He did really, really well. And, um, we just kind of continued on down the path here. He thought maybe he'd get a bite from this uh, branch on the ground. It's, it's not overly common to see horses pick up branches and stuff like this calmly like this. Uh, uh, he's done really well. Yeah. I mean, pretty normal for a horse in general, but not a lot of horses do it. So I just waited for him. Just be patient. Just let him know that I'm, I'm okay. If he wants to nibble away at some leaves or just kind of stand around, uh, just being out here is good practice for him. Not in the arena, finally. Um, we're on a dirt. There's there's rocks. There's branches. There's things that he has to pay attention to and avoid. And then when I'm ready 
to uh, to go, then I just ask them forward. And as you can see, it takes very little encouragement to have them go forward. Um, as we pass through the little grassy spot that we've got, <clears throat> I did let him eat, uh, stretch out, sort of pet him, just let him know it's all good, and then we go. So again, it doesn't take very much to get him to go forward. Just a little bit of encouragement for my legs, and off he goes. And back into the arena we went.